Hi, I'm Omar. I play guitar. I'm Zach. I play the keyboard. I'm Tim. I play the bass. Uh, I'm Catherine. <laughs> I'm on the vocals. Ooh. I'm Taufik. I actually play the guitar for this band. I'm Jiang. Actually, actually, and we are Atlas. Uh, basically, had a few ideas that we picked from right for our band name, and just it was actually a voting process. So we loved the name Atlas a lot. At that point of time, there weren't any other bands with the name Atlas, but now there are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we are one of the Atlases. <laughs> By definition, Atlas is like a uh, it's like a catalog, but we my how I perceive it is like we try to be a catalog of emotions for for our listeners uh. Through our the textures and different sounds in our music. So if you had to go up to someone and say, "This is what Atlas sounds like," which song would you recommend to them? Land over the sea. Land over the sea. Land over the sea. I feel it embodies our like the way we approach music. Uh. It's quite experimental in the sense that the song is in five and then moves into four, four, yeah. and then that's it. Three, 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 and then four. Three and then <laughs> five, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Five, then three, then four. So, and also, like, the the structure is not really very conventional in the sense, right? Yeah. We don't like, there like isn't a, a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, 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 Bye.
so you guys have applied for babies twice. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> why was babies so important to you? Why do you feel? <sighs> I think for the two of us, Babits has been like the stage to play uh. Cause we've been playing music for what, know, eight, seven, 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 eight years uh. mm. And Babits has been around since 2002 So since then like growing up right, growing up uh, We have been going for Babits and like, it's like holy shit, this is, this is the, the, the stage to play in Singapore uh. So we feel that that would be a good stage for us to feel like We have made it as musicians I guess in, mm. yeah. yeah, and as a band and also, we think it's good exposure. La. What would be the ultimate? Ultimate Probably would be overseas, I guess. <laughs> that would yeah. be like the ideal situation when you start touring and all. But for Singapore? No. But for a local situation, I'd say Mozang. Are there any bands in Singapore that you would love to play with? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Amateur Taste Control, Pleasant Tree, Anaquis. Anaquis. I would have loved to play with B Quartet. B Quartet. <laughs> it's a big B Quartet yeah. fan. <laughs> and Pin the Sky Arena. So, what's the best advice that you've got so far as a band? Like keep, keep working at it, Really? Yeah. Just never lose hope, lah. It's, it's in, no matter what your goal is, right, there's always another step further that you can go to. So, even if you don't get something, there's another stage you play at. Just keep, just keep doing what you enjoy doing, and yeah. Say 